welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Erica Jane. I like to make a ton of random videos, anything from homemaking, natural recipes, gardening, renovations, really anything I'm interested in at the time, I will probably film it. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you stick around. Today, we are continuing the packing journey. We went to Cape Breton for one night on the weekend and got back Monday night and then I worked yesterday, Tuesday, and now it's Wednesday and we officially move Friday. So I work again tomorrow. Connor's at work now. So today I have the day off. So it is really on me to get all of this finished packing and in a place where when we're both off work tomorrow, it's going to be easier to one, load the car. We're going to get the car loaded up and then we'll both drive to the U-Haul Friday morning and then load the U-Haul Friday. And we're trying to like time it with our cat too. So we have Gab Gabapentin we're gonna give him before the drive just to like keep him somewhat more relaxed cause I can already tell he's stressed. Like his digestion's different. He's a little bit different. So he's aware something's going on. I mean, we're surrounded by boxes. I think he also got quite stressed when we left for one night, which is what I was kind of worried about. Most of our stuff is still here, but we were packing some stuff. So I was worried he was gonna think we weren't coming back, but <laughs> we were and we are back and he's our priority. So like, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. But yeah, so we have medication for him. I'm gonna try and give that to him probably before we pick up the U-Haul because it lasts eight to 12 hours. The drive's about four and then we'll probably stop a couple times and it'll probably take a couple hours to actually load up and then she, the vet did say we could give him another dose once we're there if he's like still pretty stressed but he has been to this house before so i think once we actually get there he's gonna be like hell yeah like stoked so that's my hope <laughs> i'm definitely feeling very keyed up um did not sleep much last night took some cbd oil this morning because i'm trying to just like that really helps my anxiety and I took it yesterday too and like I noticed when it started wearing off because I was like oh god uh, but yeah what we can do is what we can do but also we have to get it all done so that's that's kind of what because most of the time I am like if we can't get it all done it's okay but like we have to get it all done so it's gonna push me into gear we're gonna do a little bit of packing this morning it's just 8 30 the dishwasher's running loads of laundry I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna run into town briefly um, just we're gonna have to close up the kitchen today so I think we're just gonna get like a rotisserie chicken and then a couple pre-made salads and then we'll be good for two dinners we'll split the chicken up and then um, I think I'm gonna get some like trail mixes of bulk barn just for the drive um, and like when we're there when we're moving in it's gonna be good Friday so we're not gonna be able to go to the grocery store then um, so just some like little things to get us through until we can get to the grocery store, which will be Saturday when we return the U-Haul. So yeah, I think the plan is I'll start packing up some kitchen stuff. Um, I might actually start in the hallway because the dishwasher's running. So that's gonna be a whole load of dishes that I have to pack as well. So I might leave that till this afternoon and start with like the hall closet, the laundry closet, the last stuff in the bathroom and my clothes let's do it <laughs> also super random i don't really know what's going on i've had just like a low grade fever kind of consistently and then last night i just got this aggressively stabbing pain in my side and started to cry and then just went away so i don't know <laughs> could be appendicitis could not be that'd be a really shitty timing but <laughs> stranger things have happened right so we'll keep an eye on it I immediately wanted to Google it. I was kind of like, don't Google it. Probably tell me I'm dying.
clothes, get the stuff that I'm not going to wear, put it in here, get that ready to wrap dishes in, and then, I don't know, just overwhelmed. <laughs> I know that if I just sit down, I'll feel more stressed because inaction creates more anxiety, even though it feels the opposite, like not doing something feels more comforting because you're not, but at the same time, if I'm not, then it's just still going to be there. So I just got to do it. Put on some good music, something fun. My brother brought up Nelly Furtado and I totally forgot. So I might listen to some Nelly Furtado. with 
a cart full of boxes and then one bottle of wine in my hand because I'm getting bottled to like many fears again. And then <laughs> these are empty, but they looked like the cart was just full of boxes of wine. So this man was just sitting in his car. I was just like, think you got enough? <laughs> No, I'll probably run out because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain to him that they're empty and in a passing conversation as I'm walking by he's in his car. Like just you know, I'm like that's it's fine. <laughs> it's not alcohol, but it looks like it. <laughs> You can tell with jam we like best because you just need to be stronger. And you like also need blueberries to work, but like have no touch it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Hey, this is kind of gross. This is like all the people. Hey, what are you doing here? for a couple days I just keep getting like off washes and 27 so I'm not going through menopause so like what is going on <laughs> so I feel quite overwhelmed just trying to I think I need to clear a spot honestly is what I'm realizing because every room is just piles of stuff but there's nowhere to put anything because nothing's actually organized so I think maybe I need to strip the bed because I'm washing the sheets and everything so finish that, make that clear, maybe put the other sheets, like laundry stuff in here. <laughs> in the office, I think I need to clear up and like get the mat off the ground, the gym mat, so there's more space and then start stocking boxes, stack, <laughs> stacking boxes there. And then I'm almost done this shelf. I guess I'll do the bathroom stuff, the rest of it, but like realistically I'm gonna shower probably tomorrow because we didn't have hot water when we were there. So I'm I'm just gonna plan that we probably won't um, yet either. So I'm gonna try and shower, trying to do all the laundry that we need to beforehand. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I just need to break it off. I'm trying to do like everything all at once and getting overwhelmed because I can't. <laughs> so let's do this. <laughs> we'll s this is the way. That is the way. That needs to go.
fucking tired. I am. <laughs> I'm so out of it. It's 2 p.m. I have almost emptied everything out of the cupboards. It's just the island that has stuff inside of it. Um, but there's stuff everywhere. I have no idea where we're gonna put it. Um, I think we severely underestimated how many boxes we would need as well. So, I don't really, really know. Also, my phone died, so missed a decent amount of stuff. I apologize. Um, washing dishes, we're on the second load of laundry coming out of the dryer. I'm gonna put the third load in the dryer <laughs> next. And then went through the spice cabinet, the mugs, all of our cutting boards, everything like that. Wiped everything down. Um, packed the pantry up, baking cupboard. I think you did see that. Um, and then yeah, just took out everything from here. And now this is what we're working with besides what's in this. So I wanted to have everything out so I could just see like what I have to pack. Um, but that might not be realistic because I think I just have to get some surface. So let's get some of this stuff in boxes and then we'll go through the island next. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Rip. 
you actually have to take out everything from here and put it over there and then see what makes sense. Because a lot of it is like bring appliances, like rice cooker, water, blender, stuff like that. So it'll take one box for you to take.
your glass besides those two full drawers of basket cases. Good afternoon, really. It's 1.30 on Thursday. Just got back from work. Cried a little, <laughs> 110%. Um, really just feeling the love. Came into the office and there was a freaking cake on my desk. <laughs> and then gotten multiple bouquets of flowers, multiple cards, like <laughs> just covered in mascara. Just my heart is blown away by the kindness and the love. So. That's been this morning, and now it's 1.30, and there's been a change of plans with the U-Haul, so we need to pick that up tonight in a different place than we were expecting. So we have to do that by seven. So we were initially gonna pack like things out here and move it into the hallway, um, but that might change a little bit because we have to drive to Windsor to get the U-Haul and bring it back. So it's 1.30 now, I think I might try and I don't know. I'm struggling to know where to begin. I think I just need to like get on my work clothes, separate stuff that I know I need to leave out, put that in a bag, and then just like pack everything. Like literally <laughs> all the rest. <laughs> Here's my knee too. I did yesterday. <laughs> Oof. It's hurting still. These are all the clothes that I have left out. Since those pants. <laughs> so I'm going to 
trying to set out what I need for tonight, massage today. I'm probably just gonna wear this to the beauty hall. Um, this doesn't matter. And then tonight, I'm probably gonna shower and then slightly sleep in something fresh. That would be cool. So I need these. And then I'm gonna get an outfit ready for moving. Also an outfit for the car because it's supposed to pour rain tomorrow, so I'm just anticipating it soaking wet. And then hopefully also a clean outfit that I can wear when we get to Cape Breton in our like chilling. So that's gonna be in this bag. So let's do a chill outfit first. These have been my favorite pants lately and very warm. So this is also Sleeping. Done. And sweater. Done. And then tomorrow, moving. These might, can't see. Maybe these pants might be good. They're kind of like waterproof esque. This is going to be my car outfit, and then moving tomorrow. This should work. Hope I get it right. This fleecy guy, he has a warning. All right, here is the scene right now. <laughs> Chaos. So there's been a slight change of plans. So I guess we are not able to pick up the U-Haul tomorrow now. So they called Connor today and said we have to pick it up by 7 p.m. tonight. So that's what we're doing tonight now. So initially me and Connor were gonna try and take apart the bed frame tonight. So now I'm gonna try and do it. I don't know if I can, but I'm like, I might as well try. So got the mattress off, that was the first step, and then found the right tools I'll need. So let's go try and take this apart because everything else is pretty much done. And by pretty much done, I just mean like 
there's nowhere really to put anything else and like everything's out of drawers and like all of that's empty all that's empty that's empty this is all packed desks are empty dressers empty closets empty like all the things we have to do like all my clothes are out of here that's ready to move so we're like we're in the final stages now it's really just like waiting till we have somewhere to put stuff so i'm gonna try and take this apart boop's gonna help i think <laughs> let's do it buddy seems pretty easy like i think i'll just need this little guy um we'll see <laughs>
weird there's no maggots on top? Yeah? What? Where's he going? Where'd my boy go? There he is! There he is! Oh, my scratch! Oh, Spooky seems to like you here. You do, don't you? You're ready to explore the outside, aren't you? You are! <laughs> Hello! Sorry, babe. Eat your foodies. I eat your foodie. <laughs> Hello. Happy Good Friday. Really, it is Good Friday. Um, we made it to Cape Breton. It is cold inside, but not so much outside. It's 14 degrees outside um, Celsius. And I would say closer to like one inside. <laughs> I'm chill, but that is besides the point. We made it safely. The drive was like Considering the road conditions and like the weather, it's been torrential downpouring like, literally since this morning. Um, so we hit some parts of the road that were pretty hard to see. Um, and both me and Connor, Connor was in front of me in the U-Haul. So like the backsplash of the U-Haul, at times I would just like distance myself more because it was like, I can't see a thing. <laughs> so that was very scary, I will be honest. Um, it took quite a bit of self-talk to get through it. And now I'm feeling very like, exhausted um but besides that it really went as well as we could have like hoped so i'm just undoing my braids while i'm talking to you <laughs> um but yeah it did it was like moving this morning went faster than we expected it to like we were on schedule got out by noon um oh my god moving the washing machine <laughs> That was the first big thing we got up the stairs and I literally cried when we got to the stairs, both out of like general, oh my God, we didn't die. Like I was pushing it from the bottom and I was like, I'm gonna get crushed by a washing machine and die. And that was what was in my head. And then when we got there, I was like, oh, we did and I just started crying, but it was also like breathing. Like I was struggling, but we got it. The washing machine, it's still in the U-Haul. That's a tomorrow thing. Um, still attached to the dolly. That is not today. Um, and thankfully one of our neighbors um, down the road is really gonna help us get the washing machine upstairs because that's where the laundry room is here. It's up two flights of stairs. So not ideal, but it's a washing machine. So very grateful for that. Um, now, what else is there? We had my fleece, two fleeces. Same leggings as last time, um, different hat though. Um, the furnace should be fixed soon though. So I don't think it's gonna be too long-term that we'll be like this. Um, and we do have the fireplace for now. So boops, probably in there. We were both just in there before, um, just chilling. And yeah, I think it's weird. It feels really weird. It's weird to say this, this is our home, we're home. It feels so this house is quite old um, not in a bad way but in a like historic way this used to be a staircase that the maids would go through and then like the stairs would come down they're not there anymore they could go up those stairs but they couldn't come down those stairs don't love that but that's the past um, but yeah, this still exists, the old maid secret stairway, and they wouldn't come down the stairs in the main part of the home, just here. So now our cat likes going up here. So he'll like sit down here and scratch at the cabinet. And now I put him up here. So he used to do this when we come visit in the summer. So he remembers. So he's up there.
my god. Sorry, I didn't expect you guys this much. Definitely in the luteal phase, but also so happy. <laughs> Just so much physical relief. <laughs> like, oh my god, I can't even explain it. I'm about to be excited. He's so happy. <laughs> oh. Wow. Did not think this day would come, and now it's here. And it is. Oh my god. What does it mean to be a family home child care provider? It means a rewarding, caring Yeah. So welcome, good morning. It is Saturday morning, our first morning waking up in Cape Breton, living here. Oh my God, it feels glorious. So far we figured out how, well, Connor has figured out how to turn the hot water on in the furnace. I've been upstairs testing things and he's been downstairs in the basement, like pulling things and I'm telling him what's happening. And we're learning, hot water's on, furnace is running. We're figuring shit out, and it is, oh, it's exciting. The <laughs> boots so happy. We just, um, we took him for a walk outside this morning. He loves it. He's very into it. Tried to get under the deck. He just, he wants to go everywhere. But he's been here before, so I think now with the fact that it's like, with all our stuff, it's like, holy shit, we're really, we're here. <laughs>
here's the sitch. That's the kitchen stuff. We're, we're getting there. These cupboards are pretty much empty, ready to have stuff in it. So I think I'm gonna go through these boxes and try and get stuff out and then we'll put stuff in here. <laughs> ah. Getting tired. I'm trying to unload, get the kitchen set up a little bit. So I'm gonna do it this fast as you. I'm crossing a boundary, like I don't want to remove anything, so I'm like making sure like if something is there for a purpose, it's kept because I know if it were me in my kitchen and I had something that I wanted to keep and someone threw it out, I would be very upset. So <laughs> try to be aware. <laughs> because this house has been empty since last October and no one's been in it. So mice have definitely been in here. But now that we're moving around and like since last week, there's been no, like where we've cleaned up, there's no new mouse activity. So I think they probably died and who knows, <laughs> there might be more, um, but I think we just need to plug every hole that we find, clean it up, keep an eye on it and keep our food sealed. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a learning game. <laughs> so come at me with the tips if you got any. <laughs> I'm gonna just put like some stuff like this in there. Oh my gosh, these are out of place. Our mugs, yay! Sad, I made this for coffee and it broke. Slash, it's broken twice on the handle, it was just not a like strong handle design on my part. <laughs> too big. So it broke here and now it broke here. So I'm going to try to fix it again. Dishes. Now, is there any dishes here? But I don't know what. I don't know to what extent. Oh, no. Pots and stuff in here. Hands in there.
you with this much energy. I'm just like, I'm sure this. I'm just like, it's overwhelming.
here this is the first like regular day like it's Tuesday Connor's up working in the office I am trying to figure out what to do with my day um just not like trying to figure out I'm in my menstrual phase it started yesterday so I'm definitely way slower than I have been um which is good it's kind of forcing me to rest because I did push myself in the move quite a bit more than usual and like yesterday I spent most of the day in bed which was so needed and then today I will probably also be spending a lot of time low-key um hey baby but I did want to come in here and just kind of check in with you guys give you a little bit of an update I have not filmed really yesterday or the day before um we're a little bit more unpacked, not totally. Um, I think I'm gonna set up our room or at least our closet maybe today. Um, the kitchen's pretty much set up, I would say. We do still have to get like our food in here. Connor did a lot of cleaning in there yesterday. And they still have this cupboard, like a few random cupboards to like go through. Um, but it's not like urgent. Like we know where most of our stuff is. It's still in boxes, but it's like, it's usable. Um, so it's not as much of a priority. Um, but yeah, it's strange. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, slash, I guess I do. Uh, this is, back it up. I applied for a market in Bedeck, which is a couple, like it's like an hour from here maybe. Um, month um just like on a whim I was like I'm coming here it's at the end of May it might be a push but it would be like my first market that I could like get myself into around here so I was like let's just apply like maybe we'll even get it and they had like over 100 applicants and I was picked so there's 35 booths I was selected I got the news yesterday so I immediately <laughs> was like oh my god what am I gonna pick um so I kind of tried to do a little bit of research of other vendors, not in like a rude way, but in like, I'm not trying, cause I bake, I bake like a variety of things. I don't just focus on one thing, um, but there's gonna be someone there that just does like big fancy cookies, like crumble cookie kind of style. So I'm not gonna focus on cookies cause that I know will be a big, bigger seller. And then there's gonna be someone there selling fudge and I can do fudge, but it's not something I'm like, Rate of fudge is not something I love to do. Um, so not gonna do fudge, and I think my focus is gonna be 
sure that's gonna say bread front. <laughs> I like like macarons, French macarons, because I can do those and those are not around here because we're in the woods. Um, <laughs> and things like pecan pie bars, lemon bars. Um, I think I'll do like my big bakery style muffins too. And like, um, I was thinking of maybe I would do like some packs of bagels because I love making bagels, but I do need to kind of figure out the mixer situation because that only does two batches of bagels in it and it's on its way out. So if I were to be baking for like a market, I might need to invest in a bigger mixer. I know that's coming down the road. I just don't know how soon. Um, <laughs> so that's where we're at there. That's kind of what I'm thinking for baking wise, but I'm going to play around with it as, as we get closer. So I need to nail down my recipes, order packaging, get labels figured out. I paid the booth fee this morning and I think that's all like I have to figure out now. Um, I may supply a table, which is amazing. Um, so I just need to get like a tablecloth and like things to put my baked goods on, like kind of display it and stuff. So that'll be fun. Um, that's really coming up. It's gonna come up quick. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you what we've been doing lately. Here's Ruby. Hi, Brady. So, oh, handsome. He's getting into a bit of a routine. Still a bit confused, but yeah. So we got our stuff in here. Some stuff out here. Yeah, we're getting it. And then most of our stuff has ended up kind of here right now because there's just not a ton of room in the shelves. So I'm gonna clear out more of that and then get more room to put this stuff. But yeah, a lot of time ahead of us. <laughs> Hi. Are full still. A few more random things. <laughs> he loves it outside. Hello! If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And this is quite a long video. As I was editing it, I realized I should probably split this up again. So this is going to be part two, and then there will be a part three coming next week of us actually unpacking and kind of settling in in Cape Breton. So this one will mainly be in the valley because it is way longer than I anticipated. And I think eventually I'm gonna start transitioning to posting two videos a week, but I'm honestly still a little bit too out of my routine to add that in right now. So I think this time where we, <laughs> or I think where we're at now, I'm just going to continue to post every Sunday and as I adjust here, get into a new routine, I will likely be starting to post on Wednesday as well. So two full length videos a week and then short videos in between. So if that sounds good to you. Make sure you hit that, that like and subscribe button and I will see you next Sunday. Bye for now.